हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय चैनल स्टडी हैंगआउट चिल्ड्रन इन माय प्रीवियस वीडियो वी लर्न अबाउट व्हाट इज फैक्टर्स एंड प्रॉब्लम सेट 32 सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट मल्टीप्लाइज ओके सो बिफोर एक्सप्लेनिंग व्हाट इज मल्टीप्लाई Let's solve the division sum. That is 36 divided by 6. So here we have to write 36 and here 6. Now in 6 table 36 is going. Children think little. Okay so if you don't know then say the table of 6. That is 6 1s are 6, 6 2s are 12, 6 3s are 18, 6 4s are 24, 6 5s are 30, 6 6s are 36. Okay, so we got the number 36. That means in 6 table 36 is going. So how much are 36? 6, 6 are 36. So, we have to write here 6 and minus 36. So, remainder will be 0. Okay. So, the number 36, we call it as dividend. And the number 6 is called as divisor. And the answer which we got, it is called as a question. And the, after subtracting the two numbers, the which we got 0, that is called remainder. Children, you all know this very well. Yes, in lower standard we have learned for what we call dividend, then divisor, quotient and remainder. Okay, so the dividend 36, when divided by the divisor 6, the remainder is 0. So 36 is divisible by 6. Okay, children, when the number that is division of a dividend leaves no remainder that is when after dividing the number if we get the zero remainder we get the zero then dividend is said to be a multiply of the divisor okay so it is in short we can say that after dividing the number the remainder when we are getting 0, then the divisor is called a multiple of the divisor. Okay, you can have any number of multiples of a number. For example, 5, 10, 15, 20, and so on are the multiples of the number 5. Okay, so here in this question we can say that 36, the number 36 is a multiple of 6. Okay, children. Here in this sum we can say that the number 36 is a multiple of 6. Okay, children. Clear? Children, you must be knowing the table of 2. Yes or no? In table of 2, you can see which number appears in unit place. That is, 2 1s are 2, 2 2s are 4, 
टू थ्री जा सिक्स टू फोर जा एट टू फाइव जा टेन टू सिक्स जा ट्वेल्व टू सेवन जा फोर्टीन टू एट जा सिक्सटीन टू नाइन जा एटीन टू टेन जा ट्वेंटी ओके नाउ इन द यूनिट प्लेस नंबर आर टू फोर सिक्स एट टेन ट्वेल्व फोर्टीन सिक्सटीन एटीन ट्वेंटी ओके सिमिलरली वेन वी डिवाइड वेन वी डिवाइड फिफ्टी टू सेवेंटी फोर एटी नाइंटी सिक्स एंड नाइंटी एट बाय टू to see if they are exactly divisible by 2 or no okay so to find out whether this numbers are divisible by 2 there is some method or we can say a important points which is called test for divisibility means we have to find out that particular number is divisible by which number now suppose your number 52 is there so we have to see whether this number 52 is divisible by 2 or no okay so here we have to do the division 2 twos are 4 5 minus 4 1 and this 2 write down 2 six are 12 we got the zero as a remainder so it is divisible by 2 now number 52 is divisible by 2 and then we have to take the another number then now another number so it is very difficult to do the division of all the numbers yes or no so to find out or to make it very easy they have told us a few steps or we can say a few test for divisibility okay so the test for divisibility by 2 okay so whenever they have told us to find out the multiple of or divisible divisibility of 2 just remember one thing that is if there is 0 2 4 6 8 Or eight in the units place. Okay, the number is a multiple of two, or is exactly divisible by two. Okay, so here it is said that when the number is on the unit place, and which number we should be on the unit place? That is zero. See here, you can see the number eighty. and zero is in the unit place so this number the number 80 is divisible or multiple of 2 then number 2 your 52 it is number 52 is divisible by 2 or we can say the multiple of 2 then number 4 the number 74 and 4 is in the unit place the number 74 is divisible or multiple of 2 then 6 here you can see the number 96 and 6 is on the unit place so it is a multiple or divisible by 2 then number 8 here 98 and 8 is in the unit place 
so it is divisible or multiple of 2 then next is the test for divisibility by 5 so to find out whether which number goes or which number multiples of 5 then we have to see or we have to remember just one point that is any number with 5 or 0 in the unit place okay in the unit place is a multiple of 5 or divisible by 5 okay so here in test for divisibility fi for by 5 it is said that whenever the number is in the unit place which number should be in the unit place that is number 5 and 0 okay for example number 25 okay so here 5 is in the unit place so this 25 is multiple or divisible by 5 the next number is 100 okay this number 100 and 0 is in the unit place so this 100 number is multiple or divisible by 5 okay children then next is test for divisibility by 10 okay for this only one rule is there that is any number has 0 on the unit place is a multiple of 10 okay so whenever there is 0 on the unit place like 50 10 100 1000 so whichever numbers are there on the unit place means 0 number are there whenever there is a 0 number on the unit place then that number is divisible or multiple of 10 okay children clear about multiples and the test for divisibility so children i hope you must have understood the multiples and the test for divisibility in my next video we are going to learn problem set 33 so keep practicing and learning till then thank you and goodbye